In this demo, we'll be downloading Veeam 1 version 12 in order to monitor Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 from the installation process to the configuration. We'll start from veeam.com here, go to the products page for backup for Microsoft 365. On the products page, we'll start with downloads. If you do not already have an account, you will need an account in order to download the product. Sign in. Click onto the download section and we'll be able to find all of the available downloads. The first download in this section is for the core product, which is Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365. This is the backup software for the environment itself. Then we have Veeam 1. Veeam 1 allows us to monitor the backup infrastructure. We'll go ahead and hit the download button. Once the download is finished, we'll go ahead and open up the installation. Now we'll hit set up here and install here on the left hand side, or you can hit Veeam 1 server up in the upper right. Here you will also agree to the license terms and third party components. Here we'll do an all in one installation on a clean install of Windows. If you plan on spreading these components across multiple servers, you can do a custom installation. Here we'll confirm the path for installation. You'll need to type the password for the user account connecting into the server. Here you can use an existing version of SQL or install a new instance of SQL onto the server. Here we can select the license file with browse. Select the port, confirm where we'd like the cache to be stored. Next, in here is where we can select whether or not we're just selecting backup data or infrastructure and other components. In this case, we are just going to be doing backup data and hit install. Once the installation is complete, hit finish, close out of the installer, close out of this window, and the rest of the windows here, and you should have the client on the desktop. If this is your first time installing the product, it may have you log off and back on. Let's go ahead and open up the client and connect with the local host or the username and password assigned. When you first connect into the server, you will need to add in each backup server you would like to monitor. To clean up this interface, if you do not want to see the backup and replication or virtual infrastructure, and you are just monitoring your 365 side, you can uncheck these boxes and apply to just see your Veeam backup for Microsoft 365. To add in your first server, you simply click on Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 and hit add backup server. You'll type in the name of that server either by IP address or domain name. Now you'll need to add in the credentials to connect to that server, trust or certificate, and finish. If you're adding in multiple servers, you can add that in right here. Select the credentials again, and you can monitor multiple servers from the same installation. This will take a couple moments to populate each of those servers in. Then you can check across each of the servers for different alarms, what type of data is being protected, and the status of each of these jobs going back the timeline that the jobs have been monitored inside of the console here. You can also expand each of these objects into the individual jobs, repositories, and proxies to see how these are being protected, including the object storage repositories in these scenarios. If we scroll down, we can take a look at the users being backed up inside of these repositories and the object storage side, how many sites, teams, and users are being spread across these individual repositories. There are also a number of pre-configured alarms that you can look at configure and modify within the console here. So under the alarm management and under Veeam backup for Microsoft 365, we have over 11 different alarms that can be set up 
configured and modified the edit option for the different rules on, say, free space, what kind of notifications are received, and what kind of actions are taken based off these alarms being triggered. Say, if you do have some type of alarm triggered for space getting kind of low or being exceeded above a certain threshold, it's possible to have a ticket generated inside of your ticket system of choice based off of some kind of script. You can even take a look at the recommended knowledge base from our experts here at Veeam, as well as put in your own inside insights, maybe where these repositories reside, and who the best point of contact is inside of these scenarios being triggered. Next, we're gonna take a look at the web client version behind the scenes. So from the web client version, you can access this from any server that has access via a browser. You can type in the username and password, just like we did for that console. Log in as that current user, which is going to be that same domain name. And here we have our coffee window for Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365, which is the default dashboard. From this default dashboard, you have all of the options available right away to take a look at and the option to modify the layout of any of these to whatever your environment needs. To start off with, you have things that are necessary like job duration and whether or not you have failed jobs in your infrastructure, what your components look like, the health of those components, and whether or not you're protecting all of the objects in your infrastructure which can be very important at a moment's notice. We also have things available like being able to run custom reports and the latest status right from this window, the ability to share these reports out and create multiple dashboards to be able to share with the right stakeholders. This has been Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 inside of the Veeam One console.